Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. In my last video, I tried to use black holes to explain movie science. And I've gotten a lot of comments asking about them too. Lucky for you, dead stars happen to be my specialty. Hmm, maybe we'll do a list. I love lists. Let's ask a bunch of questions and call it basic facts about black holes. <laughs> facts. What are black holes? Whoa there, killer. Start with a smaller question. Where do black holes come from? That's better. When stars completely run out of fuel, they become a stellar corpse. In other words, a dead star. You get a black hole when that star is really big. Let's take a look at one of those really big stars at the end of its life. You've got normal star stuff happening in the outer layers, like the chromosphere giving the star its reddish-orange color, and convection currents carrying heat and light from the core to its surface. The core is what's going to turn into the black hole, so let's zoom in a little. It kind of looks like an onion with all its fusion layers. Hydrogen into helium, helium into carbon, carbon into oxygen. Each step inward creating bigger and bigger atomic nuclei. All releasing energy in the process. Until we get to iron anyway. The iron nucleus has the highest binding energy of all the elements. So fusing it into bigger stuff takes more energy than it releases. It's the end of the line. Once a star starts making iron, it has a matter of days before it runs out of fuel. Yes, in a lifetime of millions of years, the last stage takes days. How massive are they? That's actually a tricky question. First, we usually measure mass in kilograms, but if we did that for stars, we'd be talking in millions of trillions of trillions, which we know the human brain can't possibly comprehend. So we use the sun as a baseline to make the numbers more manageable. Instead of saying the sun is two million trillion trillion kilograms, we say that it's one solar mass. Oh, so much better. Second, not all the mass of the star ends up in the black hole. Let's take another look at those layers. In the final moments, the core is basically a big clump of iron plasma. Since fusion of iron consumes more energy than it releases, there's no more outward pressure to balance gravity. The core suddenly collapses under its own weight and releases more energy than the star has seen in its entire lifetime. This sudden release of energy blasts most of the outer layers away in a brilliant explosion called a supernova. Only the iron core is left to continue collapsing into the black hole. The smallest black hole that can form this way is about three solar masses. But remember, that's just the core. If the core is three solar masses, then the star it came from is about 20 solar masses. That's 20 times the mass of the sun. How big are they in size, though? That question can be a bit misleading. Black holes are generally pretty simple things. The actual black hole is a singularity. All of the mass of that stellar core compressed so much under gravity that it's essentially just a single point in space. It doesn't have size. When physicists talk about the size of a black hole, they're actually talking about the event horizon. Past that boundary, not even light can escape. And that's the universal speed limit, so nothing gets out. Light is what allows us to see things. If light can't escape, then we can't see anything. Hence the name black hole. How big that event horizon is depends on how massive the black hole is. Its size is given by the Schwarzschild radius, which looks something like this. Or more simply, 1.83 miles per solar mass. For the three solar mass black hole mentioned earlier, that's a little over five and a half miles, or 11 miles across. How big can they get? Super big. Even though they don't start very big, they can gobble up more stuff and get bigger over time. There's a supermassive one at the center of all the big galaxies, including the Milky Way. Ours is about 4 million solar masses, which means it's about 17 times the size of the sun. There's one in the galaxy NGC 1277 that's probably about 5 billion solar masses. Although it's difficult to get data about black holes because, you know, they're black. Anyway, back to the original question. What are black holes? They're massive black balls of death but only if you get too close. So what do you think of black holes? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy. Hey, look what I made. What have you done? Ah! So, so idiots, how are we gonna get out of this mess? mess. You, you always, always figure, figure out, out a way. way.